Well, the goal of this presentation is for us to save more vision by using a step-by-step -step approach for lowering intraocular pressure to a safe level in cases of acute primary glaucoma. Now, there are a million different uh, techniques and ways to uh, decrease intraocular pressure in cases of acute glaucoma. I'm going to present to you my way, uh, and again, it doesn't necessarily mean it's always the right way, but this is the way that I treat acute glaucoma, and a, it's a step-by-step -step approach, hopefully easy to follow, and again, the goal for, by using a step-by-step -step approach is so we can get the pressure down to a safe level so that we can save more vision. To diagnose primary glaucoma, we usually see the onset very quickly, usually within 24 hours, sometimes within just a few hours. Most animals have a vision deficit. Uh, they tend to be uncomfortable due to that rapid increase in intraocular pressure, and the clinical signs are usually unilateral. One notable exception to this is beagles, and when beagles have primary glaucoma, it can be a bilateral presentation. The clinical signs that we commonly see with primary glaucoma include pretty significant corneal edema, lots of episcleral congestion, a dilated pupil, and some variable retinal or optic nerve changes. So this is a picture of a classic case.